Hi everyone, this is Francisco. Well, anyway, I came up with an idea. <coughs> and it was pretty much like the like the doors that you will see in the Navy ships. The ones that seal completely. Well, I don't know. I think I talked about this. I think I already shared this idea, but I was just thinking doors, residential doors, are not even at that caliber. You know? Well, I'm not talking about metal, like full-blown iron. I'm just talking about like a sealed door, even if it's made out of wood or plastic, whatever, or metal. You know, like a wooden um, screen door. Um, technically, with the internet, we can design just about anything. So, you guys out there, you guys can make it a secure door, it, like a screen door, so they can open it at night or during the day and the bugs won't get in. And also, so it can have a seal tight so that bugs and other little critters won't get in the house. Spiders, all kinds of other creepy crawlies, right? Bunch of other crap. Um, so that was that idea. Then, I was thinking about, I thought about, I thought about, like, restroom. I thought about restroom, um, like right underneath the toilet because I, I shared how we can like wet the toilet and like basically clean it just by wetting it, right? So there's already water connected there, you know, with that little tube. So before, there has to be a, a break off, a T, to connect the wand, the water wand, before it goes into the bowl of the toilet. And right underneath the toilet, there could be a tray that can lead and have that funnel to to the bottom of the drain so basically it will be one level down before the toilet so right now the toilets get placed on the foundation they put like these things and then like these metal brackets technically it could just be a bolt into the into the asphalt or, I mean the concrete into the concrete and this way that tray at the bottom it will basically all it will do is create or allow the water to go into that into that drain to clean it much um, quickly and effectively but I also thought about I also thought about, you know, water wastage, 
You know, since everything is going green and, you know, although it's a great idea, just wetting it down and all the water just funneling down, it'll be like making that water go into the tub, basically, but it will have its own tray at the bottom. So I think this idea that I'm thinking is more for a commercial you know, like, I think they already have stuff like that where they have drains, you know, sewage drains. So, I don't really have to think about this stuff um, too much. Um, so, yeah, like, um, you know, when it comes to the the toilet thing, the toilet... I don't know, like, I just, I just kind of seen that it would be easier to clean it if it had this tray thing at the bottom, so it could be, be easily sprayed down, you know, instead of wiped down, because some people don't even take the time to clean properly, they don't even get down on their knees and clean the very back of it so it gets very disgusting so you know somehow creating like um like a maybe like a backing and a little floor pad just so the water can go in. That's not an area for for anyone to go into or or step on. It would just be, you know, the front of the toilet. And then beyond that will be, you know, just the tray for the water to go into. That way, you know, you can easily... Grab the wand. It will already be connected to the water. And then you just. Spray it down. And all that junk. All that. The dust and all that. It will just go in the in the sewer. That's how simple it is. And then it's optional if you want to. Dry it down. And. There could also be. A safety button um, to prevent, you know, especially children from like churning on the water and like wetting everything in the restroom. And like a parent going in there, like, what are you doing? You know, and, you know, to avoid all that, it would just be somehow creating like a you know, like a special, you know, a unique way to turn on that water somehow where it won't be easily performed by by someone that doesn't really know or hasn't that hasn't been trained. You know, so someone would have to be trained how to turn it on. That's all I'm saying. <clears throat> so, and then... I don't know how it will work because some some toilets are bigger than others. So the, the drainage hole from the wall, I think I've read or I heard it was 12 inches away, 16 inches away, or 18 inches away. So that will, you know, change the... The location or the design of these tray pans at the bottom and the walls or whatever, it will change it drastically. <clears throat> and if for whatever reason, 
the toilet. If if you guys don't want, yet yeah, now that I think about it, it, doesn't make sense because I'm I'm thinking about the sewer being open and exposed. So if someone takes a shit, that smell would just go right back into the house. I'm troubleshooting this shit. So, what a horrible idea on my part. I didn't even think about that till now. Plus, the water, the water wastage... But, yeah, I, don't, I really don't know. I got myself there. You know, unless somehow the the restroom the restrooms were somehow sloped at an angle so instead of them being 100% level there'll be there there could be some some sort of some kind of slope to allow all the water from the sink from the toilet the shower water into the drain of the shower. Then, if there's a like a flood, a flood, a leak in the in the in the sink or the toilet floods, all that water would just go to the drain of the shower. You know. Then, if someone wants to spray down. The restroom, then all that water will practically just go into the shower and all that can be cleaned off. You know, the floor can be cleaned. Or or is that doing too much? Like the song, bitch, you're doing too much. Bitch, you're doing too much. Well, there's nothing wrong with brainstorming, thinking about ideas. You know what? We we have came so far in life. Whatever. I don't really know anymore. It was just an idea, you know? But that, that door idea, that's a good idea, I think.
Especially for someone who lives like, like my friend near a creek. Someone lives near a lake. Where there's like a lot of mosquitoes, a lot of bugs, a lot of spiders. A lot of creepy crawlies. It'll keep them out of the house. At least it'll limit the entryways. You know, drastically. So they won't be in there and people won't accidentally die. Or wake up with a big, massive, swollen arm or whatever the case may be. You know, because nothing is set in stone. And new designs, custom homes are always being developed. And they take it to the city hall. And stuff like that. And they get approved, you know. It's all about safety. It's like mobile homes. You know, mobile homes, um, manufactured homes, RVs. As long as it's safe, people don't really give a fuck. And people don't give a fuck. You could have a million dollar house. Or you could have a fucking run down piece of shit house. People still don't give a fuck. But it's all about safety. Safety, safety, safety first. Um. Yeah, but... What do you guys think about that door idea? I think windows have a better seal. Than a regular door. Well there's a lot of. There's different sorts of doors. But like a house door. Like I'm looking at this one right here. It's a porty potty one. Made out of plastic. Mold. And you know, if it has some form of um of a seal, like weather stripping. Probably does. Well, residential homes do as well. But not as great, you know, not not as great as of a seal than Other shit available out there, right? Anyways, here it is. Another day. Another dollar. Living the American dream.
Anyways, we just have to figure out ways to troubleshoot this shit, you know? It's like, it's like Ford. He made all the vehicles affordable. You stupid fucks out there. Haven't thought of a way to make all the homes affordable. Stupid motherfuckers. Like, is it a fucking open market? Not a closed one. Not a difficult one. Like, a lot of you stupid fucks are sitting inside of a home that's way more than you could ever fucking earn in a few years. And you stupid fucks don't want to sell them. Like, look around. There's other homes more affordable. Sell your shit. Spend. Spend fucking. Spend at least 10% of that money that you get. 20%. Get yourself a fucking brand new house. What the fuck are you guys thinking? Mm -hmm. I mean, my friend did. He's debt free now. This is coming to a completion here. And Kenneth Copeland Ministries, Kenneth Copeland, Gloria Copeland, you know, they were talking about all this stuff, you know, debt freedom and shit like that. All you fucking Christians out there believe in God for debt freedom. Like, this is an opportunity. A lot of you stupid fucks out there are fucking struggling. Living in million dollar homes. Fucking retarded motherfuckers. Sell that shit. Go buy a fucking boat if you want a boat. Go buy whatever the fuck you want with the extra money. Fix up your home. Go buy another one. Use it as a fucking rental. Or give it to a family member. One day we're going to be laughing at all these homes that we ever fucking built. It's like looking back at fucking vehicles. From like way back in the day. They didn't have all the shit that we have today. Anyway, so I 
Like, give yourself that paycheck, you know? Give yourself that loan you always wanted. Sell that fucking house. You'd be stupid not to. Do whatever the fuck you want with your fucking money. You know, if it's not this idea, it's this other motherfucking idea. If it's not this idea, it's this other idea. So on and so forth. So on and so forth. So on and so forth. Like these rich fucks. Or the military. You know, they should they should just be giving prizes out to people that can fucking come up with the best of the best. You know, awarding people. Like, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your acts of service. This is going to help a lot of people, you know. You really blessed America with your idea or your ideas. Thank you for serving your country. That way we could all fucking do something with our fucking lives. And not just our country, but other fucking countries. It affects everyone. Fucking NASA. It's all about, you know, resting in God's peace, God's rest. Like the video on YouTube, it's called Back to Eden. Go check it out, Back to Eden. That's a great message. That's a great testimony. You know, with technology today, there's no reason why we're not resting in God's love, in God's peace, in God's rest. I don't know why you stupid fucks are going out there and watering your plants. There's no reason to. Set up a fucking drip system, for God's sake. A lot of you motherfuckers out there growing and shit, you want to go out there and look at your fucking plant. Like a farmer goes out and looks at his fucking corn crops. And 
It's all about fucking. And I love corn, by the way. But it's all about resting in God's love. God's rest. Resting in God's rest. So like it's all it's also about us providing that to people everywhere. And that's why I'm coming up with all these ideas, mainly to make money, ultimately. And then secondly, secondly, to fucking help people out because people matter. And without helping people out and what without providing or coming up with a good invention for people to utilize, then you're not going to make any fucking sales. Your your ideas are are worthless if they're not helping people out. Because that's what people want. They want something that will help them. Like rain gutters. People don't need fucking rain gutters. But why do people install them? Because they make money. Why do people order to have them installed? Because it helps them not to get wet. That's why. It's like these glasses that I have. They just help me to see. It's like if I buy... It's like if I buy a fucking... A jacket. I buy it because it keeps me warm. If I buy a vehicle, it's because it gets me from point A to point B. So, likewise, like I thought about like these ideas for fucking homes. Uh, like PVC home, something affordable, something that doesn't require any maintenance once it's fucking built. That way we could all rest in God's fucking rest. You see what the fuck I'm talking about? Like, fuck this little fix. Fuck this other little fix. Fuck this. Fuck doing this. Fuck doing this. All of us just fucking chilling. Big chilling. Resting in God's fucking rest. The way life should be for all of us. Not just for some. Not just for those that have money. Because even poor people are doing that. They're out there not doing shit. The rich, they can decide to do something or just to fucking not do shit. While some others, they're kind of forced to do something if they want something out of life. But then they're like striving in vain because they figure out, oh, I'm making this much money, but and then I have to pay for this. And then my car breaks down. And then something happens to my house. I have to fix that. And then this, and then this, and then... Multiply that by all the people in the world. We all want to fix shit. We all want to have all these repairs done. You know? And that's where it's killing us. That's where it's killing us. And that's why we have to think about all this shit. That's why I created Invent or Don't Invent on Facebook. It's a page I created. Invent or Don't Invent. Like, invent this for these reasons. Don't invent this for these reasons. And you're basically uh, analyzing, you know, inventions that serve a specific service or specific cause a specific reason and you're you know observing analyzing all the you're comparing all the fucking ideas out there 
and you're thinking like, well, why did this motherfucker create it this way? And why do these other stupid fucks didn't? Why did? Why the fuck didn't they even think about this? Like, where is this over here? We could be doing this shit all day long. That's a job, full time job. And then, not just that, but someone calls someone, hey, you know, I want you to come clean my fucking gutters. I want you to come and repair my roof. Hey, I want you to come and paint my house. They go out there to repair the fucking gutters in the roof, and they fall down and fucking fall and trip and fucking die. That's a one big-ass lawsuit. So now, it costs way more than we thought. It's costing lives, a bunch of other bullshit. We weren't designed for all that, honestly. And then I seen one in the Judge Judy um, episodes on YouTube that there is a guy, I don't know, there's two people, the plaintiff and the... um, There's the plaintiff, and then there's the other one. I fuck, for, I fucking forget. But one suing s- s- the other, or there's counter ones. I don't fucking know. But anyway, so this person calls someone to have their house painted or something. Some of the paint goes on their on their roof. So people are bitching about that. So it's, now it's not. Now, now it's fucking a whole different ball game. Now it, now it created a new problem. Now we're, now we're taking, now people are in court. It's like you going through the fucking car wash and something happens to your vehicle. And these people, all they want to do is help you out to get your fucking car washed. And something happened where now your vehicle is fucked up, scratched, it's missing a part, whatever the fucking, you know, the reason might be. If it's not this, this thing, it's this other thing. If it's not one thing, it's another thing. 